How's it going, Jeremiahs? In today's video, we will be comparing two keyboards that are about the same price. They all just cost slightly less than a thousand dollars. And here we have the Yamaha PSRSX 600, which was very recently launched. And on the other end here, we have the Korg PA300, which was released six years ago in 2014. How do they compare? We will be looking at some of the physical differences, the features, functions, and have a listen to a couple of sounds from both of this keyboard, as well as the styles and rhythm found in this keyboard. And you can decide for yourself which is better value for your money. Let's have a listen to the default piano sounds on both this keyboard on the Yamaha. And now for the default grand piano on the Korg. I have put a list of my recommended digital pianos, keyboards, as well as different courses that I use to teach my students in the description below. So do take a couple of seconds to have a look at them. Let's look at the number of sounds on the Yamaha PSR SX600. So the Yamaha PSR SX600 comes with more than 1,300 sounds, including XG voices, as well as uh, the drum sounds and the drum kits. And on the Korg PA300, we have about 950 different voices and drum kits. These voices can be assigned onto three different upper layers on this six-year-old Korg PA300. However, on the Yamaha PSR SX600, you only get two voice layers. Let's have a listen to some styles on both this keyboard. And here we have a rock beat. and a similar rock beat on the Korg PA300. Next, let's look at this number of styles on the Yamaha PSR SX600. So the PSR SX600 has got quite an upgrade from the previous model, and it now has 415 styles. However, on the Korg PA300, you get 310 styles, which is more than 100 styles fewer than those found on the PSR SX600. But the good thing about the Korg ecosystem is that Korg actually releases 
free brand new styles that you can add on to your PA series keyboards for free on a very regular basis. Now let's listen to the suitcase electric piano which both pretty much have the same kind of sound but with a different sample. Let's see how these sounds like. And on the Korg PA300. You may have noticed by now the Yamaha PSR SX600 comes with a full color LCD screen which is nice, bright and clear. However, it is pretty small and it is not touch sensitive. However, six years ago, Quark PA300 already has touch sensitive screen and you can use it to select your sounds directly. It may not be as bright, it may not be as high resolution, but it is definitely much larger in size than the one found on the Yamaha PSR SX600. Let's listen to some Bossa Nova beat. and on the Cork BA300. One thing I love to use on the Yamaha PSR SX600 are these two control knobs for very quickly changing different parameters on the sounds and styles, effects on the fly when performing. And these are actually noticeably missing on the Korg PA300. Other than the usual joystick which controls modulation and pitch bend, which the Yamaha PSR SX600 also have but with different wheels instead of a, a unified joystick. Let's listen to the concert guitar on both this keyboard. On the Korg, The USB connection on the Yamaha PSR SX600 comes with an audio interface built in. Whereas on the Korg PA300, this USB port only transmits and receives MIDI and 
does not have a built-in audio interface. Now let's listen to some Eurotron style on DPS RSX 600. Now for Eurotrans on the Corp BA300. I love the microphone input found on the Yamaha PSR SX600 because it truly makes this a complete entertainment system where you can sing and play along and entertain your friends and family as well as gig and bask with it. And for under a thousand dollars, the Corp PA300 does not come with any microphone input. Let's listen to the default saxophone sounds on the PSR SX600. And on the Quark PA300. I also do not like that the audio output on the Quark PA300 is via the unified headphones jack, whereas on the Yamaha PSR SX600, you get dedicated left right quarter inch output for better stereo separation when connecting to additional amplification. Let's listen to some jazz organ sound. And on the Korg. I hope you enjoyed this very quick comparison. It is not the most fair of all comparison because this is six years old and this was only just very recently launched. However, I hope this video gives you a good idea of what to expect from these two keyboards.